Here we go. The harbor is full of tarpon a lot of the year, and uh, a whole bunch of different baits work on them, right? I mean, uh, yep. live pinfish are great, and mahara, people mahara. use mahara, sometimes crabs, you know, even artificials on occasion. So, I mean, really it's kind of a pick your poison type thing, but you want to, you do want to chum for them, right? With some sort of steady stream yeah, of... Yeah, typically, uh, you know, especially late in the year like this, you get this steady stream of baits going back, it basically collects them behind your boat, so. Instead of having a drift through a school, you bring the school to you. So basically, you're creating a school. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Bring them in like dogs to the water bowl. Nice roll out there by your bait, bro. Yeah, there's one, uh, they're rolling way back there. Oh, there it was, dude. Just got hit right there? Yeah, yeah, it was. You ain't got it. That was amazing. Rolling all over the place, Jared. One just rolled right next to the boat. Holy sh that's a big fish, dude. There he is, there he is. Here we go. Good job, John. There we go, buddy. He's on. He's on. Right, Come on, jump, jump. Jump. There he goes. Big fish, big fish. Woo! Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM. Hi, welcome to Sport Fishing Television. I'm John Brownlee. We're in Key West, Florida, and we got a big tarpon on. Stick around and see how it turns out. Key West, Florida offers access to more species of saltwater fish than any other place in the continental United States. From bonefish to blue marlin, Key West has it all. All right, John, we got to get on this fish. He's, uh, he's getting down to that buoy there. Everybody thinks the hard part's hooking the fish. Now we got to take them through the maze. <laughs> Good thing we got this Simrad today. We were able to mark them and get right in front of them. Our Simrad NSS touchscreen display gives us a distinct advantage when fighting a big fish in close quarters. The sounder shows submerged snags, and the structure scan feature helps spot debris and fish on either side of the boat. How's he doing there, John? He's doing good. You know what's cool about this, Jared, is you're fishing basically downtown Key West, and uh, there's this incredible fishery a mile from Duval Street. Everybody wants to run real far to try and find fish, but... You run past them sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good now, man. We're in open water. This is full contact fishing, because there's boats all running around, and the busy harbor, and there's all kind of mooring balls and stuff. These fish are smart, too. You know, they know these boats are here. A lot of times you hook them, they run straight to a boat and try and wrap you up. All right, John, when he comes up, get ready for a jump. Yep, bow to the Silver King, right? Yep. Get a little slack. That's how they get most people, not paying attention. He jumps and he'll throw that hook. The agony and the ecstasy of tarpon fishing. The big fish, Jared, I think he's 100 pounds. Get ready, he's coming up. Yeah, he is coming right on up. And introduce himself. Boy, just, oh! oh! Right there. Unbelievable. That's tough. I just pulled the hook, dude. Wait, no, he's still no, he's there. He's still, still there. there. He just turned around. Uh, have you ever seen anything like that? No, that's wild. I've never seen anything like that. He completely Get turned back around. On him. Yeah, man, I was guaranteeing we were all yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. I've never, ever seen anything like that happen. <laughs> I, I swear to God, I never have. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. He must have just done a one freaking eight. Talk about an emotional roller coaster there. I'm telling you. <laughs> how can they treat us this way? bummed out to static again. That was bizarre. Man, I thought he was gone. I thought it was over. Game over. Unbelievable. Stick around. A lot more great action coming up right after this. Coming up. This is not good. We might have to go under this anchor rope. Dude, we're all up. This is not good. Turn, 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 fish. Unbelievable. Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM, is brought to you by RAM, engineered to move heaven and earth, guts, glory, RAM. By Yellowfin, the choice of champions. By the new Simrad NSS touchscreen display. And by Mercury Marine.
Welcome back to Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM. Conditions were beautiful in Key West, with clear skies and clear water. It was hot with an air temperature of 90 degrees and 87 degree water. Seas were flat calm. Welcome back. We're still hooked up to a monster tarpon in Key West Harbor. Captain Jared Sear and I are wearing him down. Putting it to him. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. Whatever you do, don't go over there. Oh, no. We might have to go under this anchor rope. He's under it for sure. So John, what I'm going to do is I'll nose you up there. Just take the rod underneath the rope, and then we'll pull back out, OK? OK. Good job, buddy. You got it. Got it. Nice. Now he's under the boat. Oh, I'm free spooling for me. Oh, dude, we're all up. We got it. We still got him. Unbelievable. This is full contact, full man. Contact full contact. Full contact. Fishing right here, buddy. <laughs> Couple more sailboats to make it through here, and we should be golden. Fishing around all these anchored boats sure makes it interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And you're right, man. They seem to know how to just go yeah, there and exactly. use that to their advantage. <laughs> watch this buoy. Watch this little dinghy. I'm gonna try and get. Him. Yeah, get around them. Head them off the pass. This is not good. This is not good. Turn, 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 fish. Turn. Dude, what have we got to do, man? This tarpon does not like us. No. Well, good news is that I think we've got him out of all the, the structure, and now we can uh, fight him in open water. Yeah, I don't want to horse him. We got light leader, we got a light hook. I don't want to straighten the hook out. Here he goes, coming up, coming up. Here comes the jump. Woo, look at that. Wow, you see the size of that head, man? He's got a head like a freaking bucket. That's what makes these fish all worth it. I love this jump. I know. Oh, man, he came off. Oh, what happened? What the Oh, man. Dude, just pulled the hook, I think, man. Or broke it. Let me see. I don't know. No, we got the hook. He pulled the hook. That's uh, tough luck. Oh, man, what the hell? How does that happen? I don't know. You know what? I got a tough mouth. Uh, and, and when you fight them a long time, they go back and forth, and they wallow out a little hole, and they turn their head a certain way, and it just sort of falls out. Yeah, let's go see if we can't do it again. All right. After chasing the tarpon all over Key West Harbor, Jared and I decided to try for an equally difficult species and one of my favorites, hermit. So uh, we just pulled up to the jetty here. You know, it's kind of heat of the day. Everything's starting to push off the flats with the water being so warm. So brought us to somewhere where they kind of go and, you know, find safety with this big, long jetty we have here. Well, I've uh, seen permit here before. Let's hope they're here today. This is a great spot, and the weather's just right for it, too. You need calm, settled weather with uh, clear water to be able to see them, right? Yes, sir. Otherwise, it gets real dirty and choppy out here. No, it's not today. Today's just right. Let's see if we can find a few. Right here, right, right here, man. Turned off. They were cruising right along the rocks. No, yep. looks like something with a fork tail. Now he's coming up towards you a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely a, a permit or a jack. Is that him? Yep. Hold still. It's a big boy. All right to it. There he is. I got him. Yeah. He's, he's way over here. He's taking me through the rocks, dude. Gotta go across. I'm gonna try and get us over the top here. Okay. Hold him out away from those rocks if you can. I'm doing my best, brother. I think we're okay. Sweet, man. Good How cast. about that? That was beautiful. We're good now. He's off the edge. Permit on a live crab. Okay, we're heading back toward the edge. Gotta try and get you under that rock. Yeah, he is. They're smart. They are smart. Look at him. Get out of there. 
Hey, are you out? Yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Awesome. This is one strong fish, man, like all permit. Big tails, a lot of muscle. A lot of muscle. Come to daddy, come to daddy. Boy, that's a pretty fish, John. Bring him over and I'll get the gold cup grip. Got him. All right. Nice, nice work, Look Chief. Look at that fish, buddy. That's beautiful, man. Woo! They don't get much prettier than that. That's a pretty that. fish, isn't it? Gorgeous. Look at them colors on them. I know, man. I love that yellow coloration on the bottom. I love that big Big tail. old fork tail and big old eyes. Man, it's a pretty fish. Pretty as they get, man. Ready to let him go. Let's get this hook out of his mouth. All right, all right. Where's the hook? Just inside, right, right? Just inside the corner of the mouth. Okay. Perfect. Right where we want to see yeah, how nice and easy that came not out. Not bad. All right, let's let him go. Vibe him a little bit. Yeah, he looks strong. He's going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Swimming right off. Sweet. Thanks, brother. Excelente. Let's go get another one. Let's do it again. We used pen conker spinning reels spooled with Berkeley Nanofill Unifilament line and attached to light action spinning rods. Berkeley Pro Spec fluorocarbon leaders were attached to circle hooks and live crabs. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. He's trying to get back. He's right off the edge. See him flashing? Oh, yeah. Get out of there. He is dogging for those rocks. He's not going to get there. Sport Fishing Television, powered by RAM, is being brought to you by Penn. Let the battle begin. By Prospec, professional grade monofilament. And by King Sailfish Mounts, offering a full selection of world class release mounts. And now, let's take a look at this week's Driven to Fish, powered by Ram. When it comes to useful storage for the outdoorsman, nothing beats the utility of the Ram 1500 Crew Cab Outdoorsman Pickup. To begin with, the Ram's bed comes standard with a super tough spray-in bed liner so hauling heavy loads won't be a problem. Then there's the Ram Box cargo management system, built-in storage boxes in the truck bed that are both waterproof and drainable. Available Mopar accessories let you store fishing rods or guns in the Ram Box, and multiple interior storage areas include items like leather map pockets with unique Ram buckle and massive console storage between bucket seats. The Ram 1500 Crew Cab Outdoorsman may be the ideal truck for the outdoor enthusiast. Right there, see him? Big fish. He's gonna eat it, he's got it. All there right, we welcome back. Permit fishing in Key West. Doesn't get any better than this here at SFTV. Good fish, John. You know, this side of the rocks or that side? Other of the side, rocks? other side, other side. Get out of there, get out of those rocks. Boy, he's got some shoulders on him here. Another nice fish, John. I'm telling you, man. Got some beasts down here off of Key West, don't we? We've seen a bunch of them today, and this is a, uh, I think, a little bit larger than the average that we've seen. I haven't seen him up close yet, but he feels strong. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. He's right up on the edge of the rocks. Trying to go over. Okay, he's dogging me. He's right off this side of the rocks. We're okay, I think. Doing good? Yeah. Awesome. There he is. He's right, he's trying to get back. He's right off the edge. See him flashing? Oh, yeah. Get out of there. He is dogging for those rocks, but he's not gonna get there. Thinks that in those rocks lie freedom, but it's not true. Okay, I see him now. You see he's right on top of the yeah, rocks. He's up on top. Oh, he's going over, man. Boy, that fish is trying to dig up into those rocks. Yes, he is. He's acting like a grouper. Oh, come on, dude. There he is. There, there he is right here. He's right here close. He's almost ready to give up, but not quite. That's a real nice one you have there, John. Yes, it is, buddy. It's a good fish, 
man. Hook right in the corner of the mouth like yeah, he's supposed to be? Just like he's supposed to be. All right, Jared, I'm going to bring him to you. He's ready. All right, bring him up to me, bud. Here he comes. Take your time. There you go. You got him. Nice. That's a nice fish. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Gorgeous, man. How about That's that? That's a pretty fish, buddy. Look I'm at that. I'm telling you. Look at that. That's a nice one. He's 12, 13 pounds, yes, probably. Yes, sir. Aren't they such a pretty fish, that big, tall dorsal fin, a black forked tail? How slender they are, man. They are a hydrodynamically designed fish if I ever saw one. Pretty. Swimming the sheen. <laughs> That's why they're so hard to catch. Yep. Okay, let me get that hook out of there. Let me make that hook. All right, I got it out. Nice. Hook is Let's out. Let's let this guy go. All right. Thanks, Mr. Permit. Thank you, Permit. Thanks for the entertainment. There he goes. There he goes. He's kicking good, nice. buddy. He's healthy. That was an awesome fish. Yes, sir. Permit's my favorite fish. I, I love coming to Key West and catching them. It's one of the best things about fishing in the Florida Keys. Yeah, man. It's hard to beat. That's why we do it. Got him. I got him. I got him. Come out of those rocks. That's what I'm talking about. Sport Fishing Television, powered by Ram, has been brought to you by Ex Officio, made to adventure. By Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. By Key West, close to perfect, far from normal. And by Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Surrounded by water on three sides and enjoying beautiful weather year-round, Florida is the destination for world-class fishing. And if you head south past Miami, you'll wind up on a beautiful coral archipelago known as the Florida Keys. At the southern tip of the Keys is Key West and the southernmost point in the continental United States. The fishing in Key West is as amazing as it is diverse. You'll find everything from flats fishing to mangrove line backcountry fishing heart-pounding deep sea and reef fishing, even some of the hottest bridge fishing you can experience anywhere. After a long day on the water, you're going to be ready to eat. The cuisine in Key West has an exotic and Caribbean influence incorporating fresh caught local seafood, tropical fruits, and decadent desserts. There's one, there's one right here. I lost him, there he is. Right over to it. Yeah. They're on it. Got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Come out of those rocks. Going over the top. He crossed? Yeah, he's across. He's across. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. I'm gonna discourage him from doing so. He's trying to go back, man. Just back up, just back up maybe. Look, he's up on top. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Look, there he is, there he is. Come out of there. Okay, we got him out in the open now. We're safe. John, you keep it up, I'm gonna start calling you the permit man. Permit man. I've been called worse things, my friend. <laughs> Here he is, I see him now. We got color. Yeah, man, right under the bow. Look at that flash, yeah. man. I like it when they roll on their sides and they give you that big, you know, big mirror. Look how big he is. He's close now. Oh, that's a big fish you got there, John. Yeah, buddy. Come on, baby. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Got him, don't let go. Go, go! <laughs> yeah! Now that's a pig. That Ooh. is a big permit, buddy. There you go, man. I'm loving that's that. That's what we're talking about. He might be bigger than 15. 18, something like that. We won't get ambitious and call him 20. <laughs> we'll call him 18. That works for me, man. That is gorgeous fish, bud. Now let's get him back in the water. All let's right, get let's that get him hook back out. in the water. Big permit lips. Perfection. Awesome. I'm out of your way. That's a beautiful fish, my friend. Yeah, buddy! Yeah! That's what we're talking about right there! That's permit fishing, man. <laughs> All right, let's get him in the water. Get him back alive. 
Thank you, Mr. Permit. Come back and get us another day. Hasta la vista. He's good, man. Don, that was a beautiful fish, man. Good that job. That was freaking excellent. <laughs> you can't explain to people who've never caught a permit how cool it is until they actually see it. You hate them, and then you catch one, and you love them. Love hate <laughs> relationship. Jared, every time I come to Key West, I have a great time. I love fishing the shallow waters around this area, and this trip has been no exception. It's been absolutely awesome. Folks, if you're going fishing in the Keys, you have to get all the way down to Key West, look up Captain Jared Sear at Grey Ghost Charters. And when you do, I guarantee you're going to have a great trip and catch a lot of fish. Let's do it again real soon. All right, buddy. Can't wait for you to come back. For Sport Fishing Television, I'm John Brownlee. Thanks a lot. Accommodations for this episode of SFTV were provided by the Key West Marriott Beachside and the Key West Comfort Inn. Closed captioning was provided by King Sailfish Mounts. Join us next week as I fish the pristine waters of Alaska in search of giant halibut, salmon, and lingcod. Look at that thing. You won't want to miss this trip of a lifetime. <laughs>